Let's go. Dun 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 I swear, like, if you have, like, that on, like, I'm not sure what it is, like, I don't know if it's, like, free gifts or something. I swear, like, every time, whoever option has that turned on, it's, like, always something on that little beetle. On the beetle man. Bum, bum, ba -da. A golden feather? That means we can summon Ho-Oh, right? Or isn't that like a like a rainbow... Rainbow wing, I think it is? Yeah, yeah, and then like Lugia's the silver wing makes it appear. Can you imagine if people were like that? Like, if you took a random piece of a person and it just meant that they would like come and find you? I'd be like, you know, oh yeah, I've got your, I got your toenail. That means that I will summon you if I go to the park. <laughs> Something goofy like that. Bum, 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 bum. Heck. All right, Medley, we got this. There we go. Look at that clip, that beautiful clip. That's how you want to start a Sunday morning. Six dry Mesa the Grass Cutter. And for a skull necklace. Wow. We're doing great. Alrighty, and we can buy our bait bag. Because we can go around and do some more stuff. Or not quite actually, because I don't only have the rupees. Hmm, yeah. So I can only buy the bait bag itself. I can't buy any of the baits. Let's go here. Drink some coffee. Let's check the angular aisles. I think it's the bottom left, right? That general direction. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if it would be... Hmm. I think because generally you, you kind of like to get things. I'm just trying to think like routing wise when I'd want to go to Windfall. Yeah, I worked to check like a couple of things before going to Windfall. Like, the way I see it, there's really no reason to, like, not go check Paul Print for the uh, free gift from the Salvage War and do, um, Crescent, the yeah, Crescent Moon Island. It's like, you would have to, like, make those movements anyway. And it'll save you time if, like, you don't have to go back to Windfall. Like, you only have to do Windfall, like, once or twice. 
I think you pretty much always have to do windfall like twice. I would, would very rarely see only doing it once. You have to have like a really sick seed. Okay, you know what? We'll pull that a little bit more. A heart- whoa. Holy shit. It's actually kind of rare to come across a heart container, actually. I'm a bit surprised. I have been woken up slightly. Only been up for like... An hour and 40 minutes, but I am now slightly more awake at finding a heart container. If that means good luck, we're full of love. Full of love. Oh, turn chart number two. Go mode, let's go. Seed's over, we're gonna play GeoGuessr now. Yeah, mostly I was thinking, like, going to Dragon Roost because I would get money from the minigame. And, like, I need to buy bait and also do the other two, uh, little, little like, ship minigame. I was sitting there thinking, like, no, hmm. This out. You know, uh... I'm already, like, not committed to going to Windfall. Maybe I should. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Hi. <laughs> Charge to chart number 20. Oh, y'all living me down. Do they even give you in vanilla? Do they give you a, a chart in vanilla? I feel like they probably do. I feel like that makes sense. Also, future plans. Uh, unless anything changes because I hear back from uh, Bird King, which I applied to, I'm thinking tomorrow evening we'll do some uh, drunk Mario party. Because one, I'm kind of in the mood to drink. Two, we've not done Mario party in a while. I want to say it's been probably about a month. So I feel like the stars kind of align on that one. Is it like just about to become nighttime? Dragon Bruce looks nice when it's about to come night. Pretty. Wait, what? Okay, I just wasn't close enough to it. I'm gonna feel dumb because like at, at this rate I feel like I'm gonna have everything on windfall for once like all this stuff is like pointless a uh, bomb I'm spoiled I'm used to having something that can break these Oh, the time of day 
changes on Dragon Roos. Interesting. So I know a windfall doesn't change. I must have never spent enough time on Dragon Roost to notice that, like, the day-night cycle changes. But I also don't think it does on Outset. I guess maybe because... Maybe it's because on Dragon Roost, like, nothing changes depending on the time of day. It's like, inside, like, in here, everything is the same. Nothing changes outside. No one moves. That's different than Wind Waker and Outset. There's like people like going inside at nighttime and stuff like that. Oh, interesting. I guess I either learned something new or I remembered something that I have long ago forgotten. Oh, I won. Oh, yeah, we got 26. 26 rupees richer. Hogs. Bam. 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 Not bam. 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 Not bam. 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 Oh, triple bam. I wonder what's the record for, like, the most anyone's ever seen, like, in a row of the same thing. Uh, 27. Yes, I want some worky. Oh, whoa. I wish I could survive just by throwing mail into boxes, like that was my job. Then someone pays me a fuck ton of money, then I can pay all my bills, and buy food and stuff. That'd be pretty damn cool. Well, like, tech, like, what is it that, like, makes you good at this game? Is it, like, hand-eye coordination? I feel like that's not quite- like, I feel like hand-eye coordination is like not quite it, but I can't like... Like I can, I, I can articulate what it is, it's like, it's like seeing what is written, then like quickly matching it to like which one you're supposed to go to. And then like, I guess knowing- oh that's cool. And like knowing which one you should be thrown to mail at. Which maybe is hand-eye coordination, I'm just like overcomplicating it. But yeah, double magic, cool in general. Since I found a Deku Leaf, I unlocked that other mini game. And I now have plenty of monies to check things. Uh, so I want to get three pairs and regular old bait. Mostly because I want to use a pair right here to grab the chest on top of the boulder. I have no other means of getting it at the moment. Swipe some coffee. Control the burb. Burb, 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 burb. Bonk. 
Bonking on the sign. I apologize for my bad gameplay. I apologize for bonking on that, too. Alright, what we got? I the Tingle Statues. I, I think I'm at the point where I dislike that the Tingle Statues got added. It's not even like a difficult check, it's just a, like... I feel like it adds like five things to your progression pool for just one thing. Like, I, I'm just like not a fan of that. Oh, you know what? I'm too curious. Where's, where's Fishman? I don't know, I just want to know one hint. <laughs> Wait, actually... <laughs> That's actually useful. Wow. See, that's actually useful because that means that this, the final call of platforms, is Far Wars Pearl. And I uh, got to keep checking. I was not checking the, um, the map. And I don't have to do Tower of the Gods. Do not have to do Tower of the Gods or Forbidden Woods. Tower of the Gods, wonderful. Kind of unfortunate I don't have to do Forbidden Woods. That's a nice one, but... Dragon Roost, Forsaken Fortress, Wind Temple, and Earth Temple, not too bad. Hello, Celine, the 93rd. Not much is up. I don't have to do Tower of the Gods for this seed, so that's pretty Pog Champion. Hope that you're having a good lurk afternoon on a Sunday. Praying to the Lord, baby Jesus, repenting for your sins, etc. Oh, is that a... that's a Master Sword. That is a Master Sword. Hell yeah. Uh, alrighty, we can do the Islet of Steel out of logic. Because we love to do things out of logic. Breaking the rules, being rebels. Whoa, Nelly. Bam. And now we wait. I love that the uh, the bird can get hit too. Come on. All right, I got a little bit scary at the end there. Oh, we're good. We're good. What goodies shall we receive? And that is a Isle of Steel. Out of logic. And a Silver Rupee, not needed. But not opposed to. Will be good for the uh, the mini game now, for sure. I mean, we're, we're fine before, but now I can like mess it up a couple times. But I'm not bad. And yeehaw, Let's turn ourselves around.
funny thing is, even though I like went around to check other things before going to Windfall, I've like not actually found anything that um will let me get more items. On Windfall, that is. Basically, what I'm doing is trying to check like other locations and saving Windfall for last. Yeah, like, funnily enough, this gives me the impression that Windfall may have a whole bunch of items just sitting around in it. Let's see, though. Um, no Forbidden Woods, which means I don't really need the Boomerang. Um, no Tower of the Gods. Which isn't much, because you need a bow anyway, and you need, like, everything in there. I guess maybe bombs may take a while to come across. Ooh, Hero's Bow. Cool, we can do cycles now. I like this though, we're knocking out a decent bit of the overworld. Uh, this should be it. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I shouldn't discount bombs, because if I do have to do a Forsaken Fortress... Hmm. Actually, I can do it out of logic. As soon as I find the hammer... Actually. Or no, because I think I need to push out the Deku Leaf too. To, like, get around the top area. Daytime. Alright, let's uh, shoot some barrels. Oh, they're kind of far. I'm gonna go with 35 for this one. Oh, never mind. 30? Oh, 25. Okay. And I feel like that one could be a. If it's not 25, it's a 30. Is that also 30? I think like that's a little bit further away. Yeah. That one's maybe a 40. Yep. Another one right there. Boom. First prize. Garbage. Oh, that's gotta be like right up close, right? Oh, yeah. A little bit further away. That one may be a 30. Yeah. I was saying it looked a bit more further away than just one tick. That one I'm gonna say 44. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? That's not it. Oh, why? I think that was all of them. Oh, that one's way out there. Alright, and... Alright, so nothing was on that minigame. What do we have protected? Alright, let's go bully Cyclos real quick. We'll go bully Cyclos and then head into Windfall. Uh, 
Got him. Three perfect hits. Amazing. Picked up box. Good. Something that means more checks on windfall. That is what I've been running around trying to find. So where's that bow again? That bow was on the uh, dragon, uh, the the, uh, the bird nest island. Bait bag was on beetle. Goes behind the bait bag. Yeah. Off, Jeremy. Don't tell Kristoff I said that. Yeah. Yeah. He's into it. And I'm not into that. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Thank you for the dancing, Ta. I appreciate that. Power ship, which I guess, again, has been included in mini games for some reason. I guess... Yeah. Not that bad. Part of this like I was rusty the first time we were doing this. Now I'll probably get it first try. Oh yeah, look at this beautiful. I didn't make it, I swear, dude. Okay, you gave me something, though. Pirate ship was necessary. Oh. Which also does mean at least one more thing. If I find a Deku Leaf or a Hookshot here, I'll have even more stuff on Windfall. But for now, Creeb. We can do Creeb. Well, that's like the first time I've done that.
That was some very precise RNG manipulation to ensure that Ingle will give us good items. See? Those ship charts means our last great sea check. And now he's gonna give me a grappling hook. Master Sword works too. Yeah, so I'm assuming because everything else is garbage, I'm feeling like Windfall is gonna be kind of uh kind of loaded, TBH. Chart number 27. That's how old I am. It's like my lucky chart. Catch both of these bees. No, not you. Child of indiscernible gender. We need to talk. Your kids fucking suck. They're mean, they bully me, and they got boogers on their noses. God, Ivan is such a smug little prick. Love him. Doing the bird thing all right. Oh wow, was the wind not in the right direction? Slightly off. I guess I did kind of like wriggle into windfall a little weirdly. Alright, Ivan, you little shit. Caught red-handed. Caught. All right, so it took me like eight tries to get this yesterday. Hopefully I'll do a little better today. That doesn't help. I need to remember to uh, yeah, get the sword out first. Okay. 
Uh, I think the angle was a little bit off for that one. I think that was a little too early. There we go. Got him. I just like bodied that one. Like right into him. Le hook shots. Yeah, no, so if I find the hammer, I can definitely just go do Forsaken Fortress without bombs. Yeah, I'll probably do, actually. Loaded on the island. Let's go talk to Lorenzo. Tell that bitch I got a picto box. Now, I wonder, does it make sense to wait until night? Because I'd be coming up here to do the uh, lighthouse anyway. Oh, you know, I can... Uh, you know what, maybe not really... Wait, uh... Yeah, I kind of feel like that makes sense to me. Which always means I can get that too. Neat. Light arrows. Wow. Place is packed. Light arrows before going to any dungeons. That's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna do Milla and then grab the ghost ship and then head back to Windfall. Just an event that like I could find like the delivery bag there or like the deluxe picto box. Just so I would have more stuff unlocked for um Windfall. So much that I need like the delivery bag. And like the letters and stuff. Yeah. I 
I'm mostly a bit nervous about whether or not I'll have to double dip any dungeons for this seed. Because it's like, I have multiple items that help for dungeons, but like, nothing that gets me full any, uh, any of them right now. Medley. Yeah. 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 I'm making her say yeah because she's a cat. Yeah. Follow the thief. The grappling hook. You know, actually, I'm gonna do the ghost ship and then just head right into Dragon Roost. Diamond steps, that's the one by outside, I believe. Oh yeah, I know, there's a couple other things in the overworld now I can check, actually. I guess finding the Deku Leaf would be kind of nice. Before Dragon Roots, that is. So I'm trying to think how easy it is to like do the platforms with the ice arrows if you don't have the Deku Leaf. This is a bit more tedious. Like I can do it, but I'm lazy. You know. Oh yeah, we have light arrows too. I'm about to fuck up everything in this island. Alright, I think I'm past the big octo. Yeah, I'm past the big octo. It's not this close to the island. Number 19. Yeah. Alright, let's get our booms. Do outset. Bum, 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 bum,
Ooh, Master Sword fully upgraded. That's powerful. Dude, I think I'll do Ice Rain and Oasis, and I don't really feel like doing top of the deck of tree. So now I just head into uh, Dragon Roost, I think. This ring is set to one. Oh, so I'm playing the Wind Waker. Luck picked a box, that was something I was hoping to get. Before heading back to Windfall. Alright, uh, North. North to here. Does that timer just stay? Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, is it gonna stay the entire time I'm like, not on the island or something? Bonk. Mirror shield. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and smack up Dragon Roost. Kind of funny to me. Like, I feel like Dragon Roost Island, obviously, great music. Dragon Roost Cavern, not very memorable music. But they're complete opposites, really. Like, I could randomly start humming the Dragon Roost theme, like, at any time. The cavern, I. I don't even remember what it looked. I don't even remember what it sounds like. And I, like, literally did this seed yesterday a, a randomizer seed. See booms. Yeah, probably arrows too would be nice. So I have nine arrows to do the ice stuff properly. In order to get to the big key chest. I don't know if I'll get any arrow spawns in here. Like, I think you can?
Oh god, it went flying. I mean, I, I guess, come on. I guess I'll find out. Come on. Don't hit me. Alright, lighting up the old fashioned way. No throwing. Key. First death is always a key. I think it's the same for uh, Earth Temple, isn't it? Isn't that very first door a, uh... I think that very first door is a key. These just have nothing in them. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if we got any arrow drops. Ma I mean, magic is nice. Not exactly what I need right now. I can't be too close to it. Oh, come on, the keys respawn too? That's not fair. It's not too bad. I mean, I haven't done that. I don't think I've actually had to do that since I ran this like two years ago. I think I've always had a deck leaf like since then. I do this the old fashioned way. Oh, right, yeah, you can swing now, I forgot. Or, like, I, I knew you could, like, move and swing. But just, like, I haven't had to swing on that for so long. I don't know, kind of, like, messed with my memory or something. Come here, little baby Goma. I hate switches. In this game, they're kind of annoying. It's like every single time they will like show a little cutscene of like what it does. Alright, you can just see them quit. Can you make a wish if you get all the golden Doritos? Yes, you can, Y27. And I'm gonna wish for like a year's supply of ice cream. I feel like that's a pretty good use of my wish. And I think a lot of people would agree with me, especially when it's hot like this, you know? It's like, what do you really want? You know, do you want ice cream? 
And the answer is yes. Ergo, it is the best wish you can make. Now, does anything else give me arrows? I guess I'll use the light arrow on, like, one on the mini boss. That's probably, not, yeah, that's not gonna, oh, it might actually. I don't think that went far enough, but I would not, I would accept if it did manage to get it. Oh, yeah, it did. Cool. Wish for an infinite food supply. Yeah, I, I mean, like, realistically, if I had a wish, I would, like, I would do something big with it. Like, destroy capitalism, for example. <laughs> I want to give me some arrows or no? Evidently not. A pear. That was intentional, by the way. This is gonna be back up here. Destroy capitalism, we all become communists. I mean, yeah, unironically. That'd be pretty fucking legit. And then we all get to share the brain cell. Aw, oh, compass, that sucks. Yeah, there's no chance that under the bridge is just gonna be a compass or a map. I'll have to, like, actually go and check it. Boom. Just across the lava pits. It would have been funny if I could make that moblin destroy the bridge by itself while it's on it. Like, congratulations, you just killed yourself. Come here, come here, birdie. Taste the full power of the Master Sword. Oh god, medley? Medley? Be quick, be swift, like a bird. There we go. Look at that, Medley picked it up and it made it blow up. That's how powerful she is. Do not mess with the Medley. So one of these has to be a key, because I already checked the uh, boss key chest. All-purpose bait. Really? Alright, game. Wow, I got hit mid-scene and lost rupees from that. So here's my other key. Damn, that has a lot of rupees they took from me. I'm mean, not that it matters, I don't need rupees anymore, but still, like, damn. Rude. Also a key. Oh, I can't believe I got bait. I got scammed. Oh, we can just do that. Ooh. Fuck off, Keese. I've been nothing but kind to the Keese. Okay, no, that's a lie. I killed them like twice because I avoided that. But still, I didn't mean to kill them. They were just kind of in the way. 
They were coming for me, so it's, you know, self-defense, really. Seemed a little odd. All right, we gotta throw the pot. The pot's been thrown, and it has broken. The pot room. Yeah, throw that. I was about to say we still need the boss key. We already have the map and the compass, but we found that. So the mini boss bridge and both the stairs could still be something. And we have seven checks on windfall to do, I believe. It's either six or seven at this point. So there's a decent bit that we can do over there. The tingle chest. <laughs> well, if I was doing like async seeds, I would have to. But I'm just doing like custom settings. But yeah, no, I, I I do share Vesper set sentiments, or at least initial. I don't know if he's changed. I I, I don't like the tingle chests were put in. And I'm probably not going to ever put them in for my seeds. Dead. Skull necklace. You know, kind of appropriate given that we just killed a moblin. Valu is me when... No, Valu is Karen's when they go to McDonald's and they get told their order is going to take like two minutes instead of a minute and a half. Aw oh, man, when I start working at Burger King, I'm probably going to have to run into some Karen's, right? I'm going to suck. On the rope bridge. Piece of heart. And then we can get both of these and Goma's heart container. So the only thing I can do at this point is either one check in the Forsaken Fortress or a bunch of stuff on Windfall. So I'm expecting Windfall to have stuff. Also, for this seed, we don't have to go to Tower of the Gods, and we don't have to do Forbidden Woods. Again, sadly. That's two seeds in a row. Well, you know, I'm fine with not having to do Tower of the Gods. I know, right? That must feel so good when someone's like, I want to speak to the manager, and you can just be like, I am the manager. It's like the, uh, oh, you know, it's like the Yu-Gi-Oh and Kaiba meme. Wait, what, that? Huh. 
I got a hint from Fitch guys, so like the home of Dorito has a green gem. But I thought that meant the one in that didn't check on Dra that means Dragon Roost. Okay, they should spec they sh the hint should specify so you know it means like the dungeon. Yeah, like the Yu-Gi-Oh meme where it's like Kaiba says something and then Yu-Gi like shows him a card. And the meme is like you just put something on a card and it'll be like, I am the manager. And Kaiba's like, oh, obliterated. I'm pretty sure that one actually has been made into a meme, honestly. Like, I'd be surprised if no one's done that yet. I've, I've probably seen it, actually. I just don't remember that I've seen it. I wonder why Goma gets two phases, but like, not every boss does. I feel like Kali Demos, they could have maybe given Kali Demos a second phase. Like, I don't know, maybe like the plant opens up and goes into like, feral mode or something, I don't know. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to work. Goma. Or like... Goma dead. <laughs> Got him. I'm funny. Add that as a quote. That was so good. There we go, a beautiful question posed by Varlden in 2019. Alright, cool. Get another piece of the trap for us. Where is it? Oh, right next to me. Alright, so looks like since I found nothing else, we'll be heading over to Windfall. Oh there, Angie. Hope you're doing well today. Alright, so Windfall, a number of possible things. The only other thing we can do is hop up in the woods, which I don't want to do. Which means it's probably going to have something on it. If you don't want to do a check in a randomizer, it means there's something on there. Tis how it always be. Oh yeah, the chest only appears at night, I forgot. Do I need to do it? Oh yeah, um... Oh yeah, no, I have the delivery bag. I forgot to mark that. Yeah. No mail, but we can do Zunari. Which I should probably do first, because I need to make it nighttime to get that chest. I don't need to do anything else. Give me a flower. Beautiful flower. I love it. Alright, you know I'm right here. The two of them. Oh god, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? One of them gives me the Deku Leaf, that would be kind of nice. Oh, the hammer. Alright, looks like it's Forsaken Fortress time. About to be, anyway. Take a picture of you, you beautiful human. He's a heart. Down to Great Fish Isle. 
Get our flowers for the quest to do Zanari. Do a couple of other things. And then Big Fortress. So we also have to do the Wind and Earth Temple. So I'm missing Iron Boots. Mo most importantly is the Command Melody, which I haven't found yet. To be frank, I'm kind of surprised I haven't found any of the songs yet. I feel like I usually find like at least one of the songs kind of early. So the fact that I've checked like a lot of the overworld and done the dungeon and not found a song. Although chances are it could be... I never checked the House of Wealth or Maggie. I just kind of like dipped out to go to Dragon Roost as soon as I got the grappling hook. So maybe one of those will have a song on them. Otherwise, Earth Temple, we're just missing the, well, the command leave the lyrics and the bracelets. Maybe. Actually, maybe Forbidden Fortress might have something this time. I don't usually expect it to have anything, especially if you don't have Key Sanity on. Because you know Hellmark Kane is always gonna have the um It's gonna have the Triforce piece when it's on race mode. And there's a compass, and there's also a map. So like really there's actually only three checks, technically, if you think about it. Or like where you don't know what's going to be. Oh yeah, we got a flower, we're totally in go mode. Pizza Heart. I love getting pizza hearts. Ah, uh, Spoosh Kaboom. Maybe I'll turn you on next time. See if I can waste another 20 minutes trying to do that minigame. And he kills me. Creep, you beautiful bastard. Ah, oh, Wind God's Arya. That gets me one check in the Wind Temple. Creep, Maggie, Wealth. Transparent chest, and then after that, we'll be heading over to Le Fortress. <laughs> kind of appropriate since her boyfriend's a moblin. Maybe that's the necklace she got from him. There's the Earth God's lyric. All right. So now Earth Temple, we're missing the Command Melody and the Bracelets. Yeah, so I mentioned this a bit earlier, but I think my plan for uh, tomorrow is I want to do some drunk Mario Party. Because I feel like drinking, and I've not done Mario Party in a while. So I feel like it would be a pretty good idea. That would be in the evening, of course. Not gonna be my uh, 9 a.m. stream. I'm just gonna get fucking plastered, drunk at like 10 in the morning, commentating Mario Party. That feel when you remember you actually do have bombs. So, hammer, hookshot. Sitting here trying to like break down the barrier. It's like, no, yeah, you have bombs, Varlden. 
You don't have to do that. Where are you? Oh, wow, that was close. Smack. Oh! Let's see how it is. Come on, Ganondorf. Fancy Ganon. Yeah. Get fucked. So yeah, potential for three of these checks to have something on them. Um, either way, like, we need Command Melody to do anything in the other two temples. So, like, we need to find Command Melody or something that leads to it. Because uh, even without the boots, there is that one check in the Wind Temple. And it is possible to get some bullshit on that. Like, needing Command Melody to go into Wind Temple for that first chest and, like, the power bracelets are there. So then I just have to, like, dip out and then go do Earth Temple. At least we wouldn't have to go too far into the temple, though. So, like, it's not as bad as it could be. Oh, there we go, Command Melody. Lovely stuff. So now we have every... Now we have every song in the game. I do find it weird how we don't have the deck you leave yet. Wait, actually, uh... Oh, we have to compass. God damn, I hate these guys. They're the worst enemy in the game. Not even because they're like hard to fight, they're just a pain in the fucking ass. Hey, don't be mapped, don't be mapped, don't be mapped. Iron boots! Heck yeah. Dude, fuck off, Mini Blin. Alright, cool. It's not only with those iron boots which we need, but the chest on the bed is going to be the map. So I don't have to go check that. A little scary, though. Mostly I'm curious because this, okay, this puts us at a place where the only thing is either the one check in Wind Temple or going to Forest Haven and the top of the branch. So I guess I'll probably go there first. It's like I said, I didn't feel like going and checking it, so it's going to be something. Actually, you know what? There's a somewhat decent chance that could be a vanilla Deku Leaf up there. Because that would make sense, because if I got the Deku Leaf, I would be able to beat the Wind Temple with everything I have right now. Well, vanilla Deku Leaf, or maybe like a letter, one of the letters, and that leads to a Deku Leaf. Because the thing is, I would need the Deku Leaf and Earth Temple. Oh crap, I think I need to. I. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I 
I think I'm gonna get hit. Don't get hit. Fuck. Oh, can I just hit that specific cannon? Wait, what's the block? Like, isn't there supposed to be a block? We actually do fire arrows. Okay, I feel like fire arrows to do something to those because they're kind of made out of wood a little bit. Man, I totally forgot about this. Yeah, but like, where is that block? I guess the block doesn't. Have here, unless you destroy the other lamps, maybe? Ah, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Yeah, because like, I can't do anything else in the overworld, correct? Yeah, so it's just the top of there, and then, yeah, that's going to be the only two checks I can do. Because, as I said, this is going to be the Triforce piece, we're in race mode. So, yeah, I'll check the top of that. Because that's what I need to have happen. Like, I need to either get the power bracelets. So the thing that's going to suck, though, about getting the power bracelets before the Deku Leaf is... You can't fully do the Earth Temple, because in order to get to Dalhalla, you need the Deku Leaf at the end. So it would really suck if, like... Wait, no, because... No, never mind, because if that's the case, then I need to find Deku Leaf in the Earth Temple, because I can't go into the Wind Temple anymore after I, like, check what's in there. Oh, it's never mind, we're good. I was just like imagining... I was just like imagining a scenario where I had to double dip the Earth Temple, but I don't think that's something I'll have to do here. If I go into Wind Temple and find the Deku Leaf, then we're good. And if I go in there and find the Power Bracelets, then that means that the um, Deku Leaf has to be in the Earth Temple. Or actually, never mind. Because it could be some bullshit where... The Earth Temple has, like, a letter, so I'd still have to, like, leave. Oh, dude, you know the other- oh, fuck. I just thought. I've only found one Tingle statue. Oh, god. What if I have to, like, go into the temple and get, like, five Tingle statues? And then fucking Tingle Island has Deku Leaf or something. Oh, that would be some bullshit. That's a slightly scary thought. Not terribly scary. There's, a, there's nothing really in, like... I don't know, like... Compared to, like, Ocarina of Time Randomizer, I don't feel like you really have scary things. Just, like, annoying things. Yeah, let's just go take off the Helmrock King. Oh, did I already give... I already gave myself the Shard, too. Oh, wait, no, does taking off the Helmrock King do that? I don't think I was paying enough attention. <sighs> Tell me, Rock King. In 
all his beautiful burb glory. I too am burb. No. Dickish, dickish. Come back down here. He's a flyer today. An attacking flyer. Oh, hi. Flying every single time? That sucks. Bam. Oh. You doing a fly. Oh, pick up the heart. shoot you in your butt. But Come on. Land, you little shit. Jeez. For real? Alright, at least with the Super Master Sword you kill in the one shot. Okay, Triforce Shard, and then time to see what all the other islands have. He scream, and he shard. You know, I kind of miss, like, not doing a race mode. And then it was like, kind of didn't know what the boss was going to give you. I mean, I guess it's nice because you know you have to fight the bosses. There's also something kind of appealing in the whole, like... I don't know. You fight the boss and it's like, oh, I didn't have to do this. Sad champ. So yeah, let's just see. Do we have a vanilla Diku leaf? A decent possibility. Decent possibility. Let's just check the mail. Why not? Maybe we'll get a heart container. Another heart piece. A silver rupee. That's it. Oh, I guess you gotta wait another cycle for like Ariel to send you something. It's Ariel and Tingle send you something after you beat the Helmrock King. Bonk bonk. The bonky bonk. Bum, 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 bum. 
Bum bum. Bum bum. Boom. Oh, that Twitch theme? Um. It actually ends, uh, wait, is the 30th the last day of August, or the 31st? But yeah, um, it ends, like, on midnight, like, the, like, as soon as August ends, that's when the, uh, like, applications close. So, like, I haven't heard anything back yet, but, um, I don't know, like, how long it would take them to go through and everything. I mean, I would imagine maybe sometime in, like, the first week. Like, I can't imagine they've gotten, like, you know, dozens and dozens of applications. If I had, if I had to, like, guess, I'd say maybe, like, ten. Oh, wow, Vanilla Deku Leaf. If you were thinking it was a Vanilla Deku Leaf, you were right. Uh, okay, I guess while I'm here, I should check the small island just to knock that out. But as soon as I find those power bracelets, we are in go mode. Yeah, that is the current status. They end, uh, well, I can check right now. Alright, 31st, yeah, August has 31 days. So yeah, basically, like, tomorrow in, like, Pacific time zone or something, as soon as it hits midnight, that is when the applications are closed. And, like, I would imagine that if, like, myself or anyone else they're considering, like, um, if they are thinking maybe to join, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's, like, oh, there we go. Wait, no. No one, no. Yeah, but yeah, like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's also maybe, like, they want to, like, have an interview or something. Maybe not even so much, like, an interview, but just, like, you know, talk to you. See if there's, like, a, any, like, sort of vibes going on and stuff like that. Which is kind of without to expect, maybe. Uh, let's just do great fish before heading into Wind Temple. Since we can just warp right there. Since, uh, yeah, like, because unlike that noble team that I joined, where it was just like. It wasn't really a Twitch team, it, it was kind of just more like a big esports organization. And. I also don't remember if, like, you were really, like, hanging around as, as active when I was on Noble. But yeah, it was just, like, all eSports stuff. Like, I didn't really talk. Like, I tried talking to people and stuff. I mean, back then, too, I was also streaming, like, almost on a daily basis. And probably, like, half the time that I streamed, I would, like, after stream, I would raid someone on the Noble team. And, like, a lot of people, like, never followed me back. I, like, didn't really see anyone from the team. Oh, wow. Dude, I'm a genius. Sweet. Okay, so there's, like, multiple things in the overworld we don't have to check, and we're in go mode. Oh, well, I mean, that, that team did consider speedrunning to be in eSports. And since primarily at that time I was just, like, speedrunning Steam Universe Save the Light, that's, like, kind of why they took me, I think. Want to like, uh... uh. You know, I have more fun in Wind Temple, so let's save Wind Temple for last. Yeah, like. Pretty much like two, like, the two big reasons why I ended up leaving Noble was. One, most of the people were people that did quote unquote things more considered esports. So, like, they were Overwatch players, um. PUBG, when it was, it was like a lot more popular back then. I mean, I think it is still uh, popular, but yeah. Um, you know, Call of Duty, stuff like that. Like That was kind of like the general things that everyone did. So I felt like our communities wouldn't really mesh. 
And the second thing was, yeah, like, I never saw any of, like, the admins come around. Like, none of them even followed me. You know? Never saw them in my chats. Um, uh, like I said, like, I would try to make a point of, like, raiding a noble streamer, like, every other stream. And, like, 90% of them never followed me back. Even the ones that did follow me back, like, I, like, never saw them in my chat or anything. And, like, I pretty much got raided maybe, like, three times by, like, other streamers, and that was about it. And plus, like, the entire time, you know, I had, like, a noble advertisement on my stream. Like, on my stream, and also in my panels. So it's kind of like, you know, I felt like I was putting a lot more in compared to what I was getting out of it. It's just kind of like, you know what? All right. This is how it's going to be, then... Not really interested anymore. I suppose the one good thing, though, is uh, Argig, who I think I've raided a couple of times. Yeah, I know I've raided a couple, a couple of times. I hang out in the streams and all that. Like, I was aware of Argic before we were on Noble. Like, just because I kind of like know things about speedrunning and like speedrunners and stuff like that. Just because I am involved in a lot of speedrunning communities. So, like, I was aware of him, but I didn't really follow him until we are on Noble together. And now I hang out in the streams pretty often, so I'm you know, kind of glad that happened. But that, that was pretty much the only, like, long-lasting thing that came out of me being on Noble. Yeah, medley with medley. The double medley. That's the good stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I would say they, like, necessarily treated me strange. But the thing is, they just, like... Like, it really did not feel like they really did much for you, you know? But... Oh, I forgot to get medley. I need her. But, like, you know, we would have, like, a monthly team meeting. And, you know, they'd always talk about, like, you know, Oh, yeah, you know, we're supporting you, and... You know, try to raid other noble streamers and support each other, help you grow, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, you know, when you get when you get right down to it, like, you know, for, like, smaller streamers, like, we can't really do a whole lot. It's kind of like, you know, you gotta help, like, us grow, and then, like, in turn, we can, like, also, like, you know, help support the bigger streamers on the team. Yeah, I think I learned, like, that was that wasn't really what I was looking for. Like, when it came to a Twitch team, like, my idea of what I want is something more, like, next level. That Vess is on, and, you know, Chrism, Crescendo, Rays, and everything, like, all of them. Like, that's kind of more what I want from a Twitch team. Something that doesn't feel like we're just a bunch of, like, streamers that happen to be on a team. Like, people that, like, actually, you know, hang out in each other's streams and, like, kind of know each other. And I, well, that's not really what, like, an eSports organization kind of felt like to me. At least not Noble. Because, like, I, I don't want to, like, say, like, a, you know, blank statement on every eSports team. It's like, you know, for all I know, like, other ones are a lot better. And Noble's just, like, the one that was running away that I didn't really like. Yeah, so, uh, the Inglorious Misfits, I think that's... Kind of a little more on the, like, wavelength of what I'm looking for in a team. Like, just people that, like, are streamers, and, you know, they're, like, pals to various extents. Yeah, the next level marathons, I love those. Like, in particular, one reason why I love them so much is because I never really saw a Twitch team up until that point, like, do the things that they did. Like, I saw the people would be on Twitch teams, but, like, I felt like I never really saw them in, like, other people's discords. I never really saw them, like, just hanging out in the streams. Or, like, even, like, raid each other, you know? It just kind of felt like... I mean, like, for example, like, I, you know, I'll mention, like, the Wigglers, like, the, the, the other team that Chrism is on. 
And it's like the other people that are on that team, I felt like I never like saw them. Like Chrism didn't really seem to do anything with the other people on the Wigglers. I felt like I never really saw the other Wigglers like in the Discord. Like, you know, I as a moderator, I feel like I was around more than like people on that team. And so that's why I loved Next Level, because it was like they're a Twitch team, but also like you would know they're a team because they're like always hanging out with each other. And the marathons were great. I loved those. I would always look forward to them. Like I would make sure that like I like got the things done with I wanted to do. That way when the marathon came, I'd be able to like watch it for most of the day. Also the whole idea of like the t like the team doing something and then like only one person would stream during that and otherwise like everyone else would either like host that person or they'd be on that stream doing something with them so I thought that was really cool like it really did help ensure that everyone would sort of like like con uh, congregate into like one particular stream and even as I, I think like Vesper mentioned once that like Kind of the big goal of like next level as a team and the marathons was to, like sort of try to like lead their communities together, which I think it, it definitely accomplished it. I mean, at least for the time, like they haven't really done anything in like a couple of years. I think like you know as a big team, but I definitely felt like that is something that happened. Yeah, everyone had and like also like there is like. You know, it wasn't also like they just like all did multiplayer games together, right? Like sometimes it would be like, you know, Sam had a time and, you know, he would do like a Paper Mario speedrun. And sometimes it would be like, okay, uh, you know, Vesper is up and Vesper is doing a Majora's Mask speedrun. Or, uh, you know, Vesper would be playing some Splatoon. And I, I think maybe, uh, uh, and like, uh, what, um, and sometimes it would be like, you know, Chrism and Sam are doing, like, Pokemon Stadium. So it'd be like the two of them. And the thing that I thought was really cool about that was, like, like, the coolest thing I thought about the next level marathons was that it, like, allowed you to see that everyone had chemistry with each other, you know? Kind of like, a, it's wanting to like, be in a chat. You know, it's like wanting to like, be in a chat together, but it's like another thing when you can just like, be in a call and play games together, and you're just like, having a bunch of fun with each other. Like, overall, yeah, like, it just really did make it feel like it was a team. And it was, like, people that were, like, you know, very like-minded and got along together and everything. And I, I feel like I've not really seen that in a, uh, t in, like, um, in, from, like, any other team that I've seen on Twitch over the years. Chrism and Ray's race. I don't think I remember that. <laughs> this also means we get to hear the good music the whole time. And I do believe that, uh, from what I've seen, I do think that some people on the, uh, Inglorious Mythfits, like, they do things together as well. They don't just, like, raid and all that. Because I believe that I've seen Krillin, who's on it, and is, like, one of the people that I, like... Well, he's on it, and he's, like, also the reason why I saw they were, like, looking for more people. I think he, at least, at the very least I know he plays Stardew with someone else on the team, I believe. 
So there's an example of like, you know, people like on a Twitch team and they're like doing stuff together. Alright, enjoy your coffee, by the way. Rockin' that liar. Melly's great. Alright, let's go, Mead Lie. Wait, what am I doing? What's like the point of the mirror? Because you have the mirror shield by now, don't you? In vanilla? Yeah, you do, because you can't get into this room without the mirror shield. So do I have the ball? No, I don't. But since I am in go mode, as soon as I find the boss key, I can just, like, rush to Jalhalla. Same with the Wind Temple. But as soon as I get... One small key in the boss key, we're good. So yeah, right now, I think I'm still missing a small key. But yeah, hopefully... Yeah, I mean, it would be nice to find it before having to do, like, the whole mirror room. Dragon Tingle. You know, that explains why I haven't been finding much of the statues. Because there is no progression item on them. Can we like take a moment to appreciate floor masters in this game? I feel like their design is really cool. I like it a lot. It's the last one, can get some magic, cool. The foggy room. Yeah. So, like, the ideal, I think, is the uh, chest in the crypt coming up, being the boss key. Oh, just ran into the light with a jabroni. Come on, Bosky. Not Bosky. No scrim. No scrim. Scrim, no. 
I'll scrim. Die. There's your punishment. Alright, Melly, get bodied. Good. Look at that. Yeah, this should definitely be a sub 3 seed. I suppose, depending on how much time I have to spend in the Wind Temple, it could even be a sub 230. Uh, I mean, I'd have to find a key, like, really quickly. Yeah, no. Like, around 240 seems reasonable, I think, I feel. Bum, bum. Best burb. Whoop. Actually, you know what? That is definitely consistently hitting it. If game wants to say it's not, though, then who am I to argue? Wow, I can now fly. Nope. Hey there, Ace. If I come across any heart containers, I'll get some. There we go. But I just need the boss key, so... Let's just check this real quick. Because if this is the boss key, I can go right to Dalhalla. That is the boss key. Awesome. See you later, Medley. All these checks are nothing. All right, kill Jalhala, and then we'll head right into the Wind Temple. And with any luck, the Wind Temple will be set up in such a nice way that we don't have to do everything. As I said, I believe I just need... Because one small key is to the mini boss room, and I think the other one is like the basement leading to Mulgara. So just one small key, and then the boss key, and then we're good to go. Oh yeah, the Sour Pliss Temple is coming up. To be honest, early enough that I'm considering... Maybe getting beer and doing Mario Party tonight. Hey, Duel. Uh, I think it was the Romans that invented that, actually, so uh, take it up with them. Wow, I cannot spin slash.
Like, the annoying is, when you throw bombs like that, like, for whatever reason, the camera decides, like, okay, I'm gonna keep on following. Like, I'm gonna keep on, like, following that, like, bomb. Oh, I guess I can just do this. I did not realize that. Stab that Caesar guy like 23 times. You know, I feel like you're not the only person that has that sentiment. So you know, you're not you're not alone. You're not alone. We can say that for sure. All right, cool. That was the last one. Still, somehow I managed to make that a three cycle. Okay, time for the Windy Temple. Boom. Dead Mask. One more tree force. What is the temperature? Is 79 degrees out? That's actually fairly temperate. Dorito! Soon all the Doritos shall be acquired. At least of us. Yeah, I think about 60 people would do. That's a good number. Sounds like you've got this all planned out, Duel. I wish you luck in your endeavors. Alrighty, wind temple time. So again, go mode. Just need to find me that uh, boss key and a small key. Beetle, get out of the way. All of your electronics are named after Roman senators. <laughs> That's pretty amusing. What, like, made you want to do that, out of curiosity? Because you wanted to stab your first laptop 23 times. That's valid. I have definitely wanted to stab electronics multiple times in my life. Frankly, more often than not, I've wanted to stab, like, my internet slash router more times than I can really even begin to fathom. So, the laptop was Caesar. Little Caesars, but you get stabbed. I don't know. Like, like imagine you order, like, a Little Caesars pizza. And then they like deliver you the pizza, and then like when you turn around and go back inside, you like just get stabbed. That was like the whole like that's like the whole like advertising thing that they do. Or the little Caesars. You'll get stabbed. Oh, you know, I should maybe open up this chest. You think I should open up this chest? I think I should. Pizza heart.
I'm making myself want a pizza. Maybe if I do go to the store today, I can like get a frozen pizza. Oh yeah, yeah, you should. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I would be amused, I would definitely like, and I would comment on it. But N64, hope you don't get scammed. Yeah, I hope you don't get scammed either, that would suck. Don't grab my car. I wonder what happens if those things grab my car. They can even grab them. I've like never tried that. They let go of him. Yeah, that would make sense because they're not like floor masters. It's like, you know, the floor masters just like grab them. The double. Let's go. That was beautiful. Coffee is acquired? Nice. I forget if I asked, but uh, do you add anything to your coffee, or do you just take it as is? Because uh, for me, I kind of like having coffee as is. I typically don't add any cream, sugar, or anything like that. with some sugar. That's valid. Alright, yeah. Shark. Nia. Yeah. I'm doing alright. It tastes bland like water? I don't know, you might be having some bad coffee if you think it tastes bland. In my opinion. I really like drinking coffee on its own because I enjoy the taste. Because there definitely is some crappy coffee out there. But also, I also understand if, like, someone wouldn't want to spend a lot of money, or, like, extra money to, like, get a better brand of coffee.
Dang, so we did top of hub room, many cyclones. Got this medley. I got you, yeah, finishing up one coffee to start up the next bag or like batch that you have. Hurricane spin. Whoa. First time I found that since coming back to randomizer. Gonna avoid me. Oh no, it good then. Sometimes that can avoid you out. I should not be yet. I should not have been standing that close to it. I'll say, Summoner. Good morning. Hope you're having a good morning. Okay, one small key. Good. So now we just have to find the boss key. Coffee came out good. Glad to hear that. I still have some coffee myself. After we go kill Ganondorf, I'm gonna go grab some of that. Then contemplate whether or not I want to walk to the store. I'll probably step outside and see what it feels like before deciding. Because it's supposed to be a lot cooler tomorrow. So tomorrow afternoon might be a little bit better for going out on a walk like that. Oh, that is so satisfying. I love light arrows. Alright, Bosky, Bosky, not Bosky. Oh, why did I bring the car with me? Normally I just like don't bring the car, because then it teleports them back to the door here. You don't have to like run with them. There we go, the boss key. Don't even have to mess around with the fan. Alright, Makar, you down here. There you are, buddy. Sweet. Get rid of that guy. We just have to get to the uh, chest. I mean, the, uh, the switch. Sorry. 
Killing all the enemies is for the chest, but we don't need that because we're in go mode. Oops. You're speedrunning, it's going good. That's good to hear. Where is there he is? They're bullying Makar. Uh wrong way. Oh wait, well, I never found a compass, right? Or the map. Neat. Ah, that doesn't matter, just clicking things off here. But nope. There we go, command melody. That is what I meant to be doing. Ooh, they both fell off, I think. I'm pretty sure I heard uh, two whoops. Oh, no, one did. Yeah, there we go. It's funny, they, if they fall there, they just like instantly die. All right, get ready. We're about to hear the best song. Yeah, I would argue best song in all of Wind Waker. You're the one the fairies aren't. Wait, no, you're not either. There we go. All right, here we go. He's coming for me. He was not amused by my crouching. Right out of the air. Oh, at this point, at this point, I feel like a 230 is still on the table. Got him, nice quick Mulgara. Last try force piece. Bum, 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 bum,
Yes, the final Dorito has been acquired. Oh, if I go... Oh, wait, whenever I go to the store, I gotta get Doritos. I've been craving them. I haven't had my... I haven't had my Takis in a while either, the two. Alright, time to go show Ganondorf who's boss. You had Doritos with dinner? Nice. What'd you have for dinner? I can think of a number of things that Doritos would um, compliment. Tacos? Oh, yeah, nice. Speaking of tacos and Doritos, I kind of miss the taco pizza from where I used to work at Casey's. It was honestly like, like you'd maybe like make fun of it, but it actually tasted pretty good. And I know sometimes when I tell people like, yeah, we have a taco pizza, one of the things you do is you crumble some Doritos on top of it. Like, it comes out really good. I mean, in a way, I feel like a taco pizza is sort of like... ...making, like, a nacho pizza, in a way. Just because, you know, like, it's so cheesy, right? Because, you know... ...pizza. A lot of cheese. Yeah, sub-230, definitely on the table. Depending on how quickly I can defeat Puppet Ganon, I think. Alright, playing your safety helmets. Falling glass about to, about to happen. Don't want anyone to get hurt. Caution. Falling glass. Then we go a rolling. Now I kind of want tacos. No, it's like a. No, I think this is like a burger into Wendy's right next to 7-Eleven. I'm contemplating going to. Yeah, exploring underwater Hyrule would be pretty cool if you could do that. Oh, yeah, I don't have the boomerang, it's like, technically it's not a logic for me to uh, go fight Ganondorf. That boomerang would either have been somewhere else in the Wind Temple, or like one of the overworld checks. But like, I don't need the boomerang. In before, I'm absolutely horrible at sniping Puppet Ganon. I'm gonna get that in before one of you say it. <laughs> Goodbye, Phantom Ganon. You stinky old man. Yeah, exploring underwater Hyrule would be pretty cool. It's pretty because you figure, like, so much of it would be kind of, like, abandoned. It would have, like, an odd feeling to it. Yeah, booms. He was like, hmm, what? And he died. Uh, some magic. 
Uh, I think I need one more. That'll be fine. Epic. Let's do this. Heck. Oh, there you go. Suck it. Link is literally sweating right now. <coughs> yeah, no. Yeah, probably gonna be a sub 230, I think, now. Oh, is it even, like, does Linka still have, like, the records and stuff? So I don't actually know. Like, I don't think he has it for, uh, at least, uh, SD anymore. I think, like, either Gymnast or Ian has it. I say it as if there are, like, multiple categories. Oh, barely missed it. Or, I mean, barely did not miss it, I mean to say. You think you got 100% uh, Wind Waker HD? Yeah, that sounds about right. I think Linkus is the only one that really bothers trying to do, uh... I think he's the only one that really bothers with 100%, uh, like, m like, regularly, anyway. Actually, I just realized I don't even follow Gymnast on Twitch. So I wouldn't even know how often Gymnast streams Wind Waker. Alright, one more. There we go. You know, speaking of, it's kind of still crazy to me, like... How much I've seen Linkus, like, his channel grow over, like, the last, like, three or so years. Because I feel like when I was first aware of Linkus, like, I don't think he was even partnered. I mean, I'd have to check, like, when his, uh, partnership was, but, um... Yeah, I feel like I remember Linkus when he just had maybe, like, four or five thousand followers. And, you know, we had maybe, like, average of 30 viewers or something like that. And it's like, fast forward to now, and if he's, like, ever doing Wind Waker runs, he's, like, always got at least a thousand viewers. Which is awesome, too. Like, Linkus is a... I mean, from what I can tell, he seems like a pretty cool person. Like, really nice, courteous... Oh, this has a nice positive vibe going on. And I like, too, how he's mentioned that, like, if he wasn't a full-time streamer, he would probably, like, be a nurse or, like, in the medical field. So I think that's, like, what he was going to school for before, like, his, like, streaming career just, like, kind of took off, like, at, like, fucking rocket speed. So, like, definitely a person who, like, super deserves, like, being, like, well-known and stuff. Those use more people like Linkus. Pet the Linkus. 
Is that like an emote? Because I am unaware of it. Ha, get hit Ganondorf. Oh yeah, yeah, we definitely have a sub uh, 230 seed here. There's no way I'd take five minutes on Ganondorf. Zelda, fire. Fire. Alright, Zelda's going that way. Wait, no, Zelda, Zelda, you're going that way. Plagiarizing some... What do you mean he was plagiarizing? Ah, here comes the smack. Bam. Matthew's like, how dare you smack my girlfriend, you fuck. Some work. I mean, I, I mean, it depends. I mean, like, I disagree with the whole mentality that, like, when you're, like, in school or something, like, you can't, like, collaborate or anything. You just have to, like, learn everything on your own. Or else, like, you're a failure. You're doing it wrong or anything. But that's not how it works in the real world. Like, in the world, everyone is, like, always collaborating. Bam! Look at that. Sub 230 seed. Hog. And what I having to do for Binnen Woods, which is a kind of quick temple. Yeah, like, if I had to do more of Wind Temple, or if, like, the boss key was deeper in a mirror room, that probably wouldn't, this probably wouldn't be a sub 230. Yeah. GG's to me, I'm pretty epic.